today I will be providing a demonstration on how to make a tool that can be used to prevent bite changes that are common in oral appliance therapy for the treatment of snoring and apnea. This particular tool can be called a variety of names. It could be called morning repositioner, morning aligner, or even morning reprogrammer. But they're all trying to do the same thing and help prevent your bite from changing and help bringing you back to a natural bite after you remove your oral appliance in the morning. This is just one type of tool. Please use the type of tool that your own dentist provider has prescribed for you to use after you remove your oral appliance. But again, this is one that is pretty common and many providers are currently using as well. Hi, I'm Dr. Lydia Sosenko, practitioner and educator of oral appliance therapy for the treatment of snoring and apnea. Uh, oral appliance therapy remains a great option for the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea. One of the side effects that can occur with this type of treatment are side effects of uh, bite changes, usually small bite changes, but they can be pretty moderate over time if they're not treated. Uh, so today's video, I'm going to be making a morning reprogrammer, showing you kind of how you can do this at home. Most of the time, your dentist would be providing the service with you as part of your treatment in their office. But with today's learning environment and remote access, um, this, this is here to help you in case they mail you the piece. So the two assumptions I'm going to be making are, number one, you are working with an oral appliance provider dentist through this process. And secondly, that they either he or she has mailed you the piece that is used in today's demonstration. Um, a few other points I want to bring up are, why do we care about the bite, bite changes? Well, sometimes uh, bite changes can lead to some issues, to problems, such as um, the premature wear of your teeth. Uh, sometimes these bite changes can cause dislodgement of current fillings that you have. Sometimes they can make a chewing of food more difficult. And um, also, sometimes you can actually have speech pattern changes and start lisping and things like that. So that's in the kind of the aggressive stages. So um, secondly, not all changes are, are unfavorable, meaning are bad. Some of what we call favorable um, has been notated in studies showing that sometimes patients actually enjoy having less of an overbite or if they had a very small retreated chin, it might be more prominent and things like that. So not all unfavorable changes, so there are favorable and unfavorable changes. Um, thirdly, um, some patients are very high risk for these changes from occurring. They really need to be doing what I'm going to be showing you every day to keep things at bay. Um, they might even need to, to uh, alternate with CPAP and things like that on the aggressive side if they need um, to kind of slow things down if they feel that's happening. Others, on the other hand, also do none of this and they have no changes whatsoever. Everything's very stable. They just take out their device, go on with their day and don't even think about it and their bite is very stable. Um, uh, what else? Um, some other things are if these changes occur very often, if they're caught early, uh, things can revert pretty quickly back to they were. But on the other hand, if you wait too long and it gets too much out of hand and the bite changes too much, very often it can't be done without some kind of treatment process, whether it's restorative treatment from your dentist, orthodontics, or something like that. Um, so um, we encourage whatever can occur, we want you to learn how to prevent these uh, changes from occurring. This video will help that when you get that pr uh, reprogrammer set. And lastly, um, definitely want to make sure that um, I recommend to my patients that they take their bite into their own hands, meaning really get a good grip of where your bite is from day one. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute some of the things that uh, you can test out on your own, including even taking close-up pictures and things like that, just to see from day one where your bite is and track it so that you can catch things early. You'll only be seeing the sleep apnea dentist or if your dentist is treating this six months, possibly, maybe even up to once a year in regards to this, you know, and so instead... Things can develop during that time and you can catch things much earlier. And I always do encourage if you do see something um, that's changing and pretty quickly and you can't revert it back, please call your dentist, your sleep apnea dentist to help you. So um, with that, let's review how to make a morning programming device. Okay, so this is what you will need today. Usually you can do this in the bathroom sink area, so you definitely will want some kind of a mirror. Um, you will have received something like this from your dentist. Um, this it might be a different shape a little bit because very often they'll take something like this and cut it into one third because you only need part of it. Um, so let's just start with that piece. 
Uh, very hot water, too hot, um, then you you wouldn't want to put your hand in it. That's how hot. So I think I microwaved it for about a minute and a half, minute to two minutes, somewhere in there. And then a, a longer piece of floss, which I will demonstrate um, here what we're going to do with that in a moment. So those are the things that you will need to get set up with. Make sure your hands are clean and ready to go. And what you'll be doing then at that point is you will be inserting this into this cup and um, just letting it warm up for about again a minute to minute and a half. Also you will need some kind of a spoon or a spatula or some kind of a tool to remove that small piece from that hot water. All right while that is in the water and softening um, it's always a good idea to take some close-up pictures of your teeth from day one. Um, I do recommend uh, taking a picture straight up in the front of your front teeth biting down together. I also recommend a side view. You can take a left and a right side view and just keep that on hand so that over time you can kind of go back to it to see if there's any major changes from occurring. For today, the other thing that I'd like you to do is to take that piece of floss that you have, it's just a long piece of floss, and put it in half and then half again. So you're basically quadrupling this floss. And what I want you to do is um, to just assess where your current bite is today before you start wearing the device. So you'll see that when I bite on this, it's going to be fairly taut all the way through. Yours might be different. So I'm going to put this in between my teeth and then try to pull it out. See, it's very taut on that side. On this side, same thing. And on the front, which I really don't need to know for today if I do that also. Just got a little bit looser in the front. So that's my natural bite today. So I want you to do that just to see if you are biting firmly in the back side on both. Once we make this device, we want to make sure that that is still happening um, the same as it what it is to begin with. So if you're only biting heavily on one side, that's going to be the expectation once you do this correctly when I show you how to do that. If you're biting both sides firmly, once this is made correctly, you're going to be able to bite firmly on both sides with it being taut. Okay, I'm going to be removing this uh, small piece and I'm going to be placing it in between my front teeth and biting as firmly and as naturally as possible so that the teeth come together just like they did when I tried with the floss. So once I put it in, it's going to be on those front section of the teeth and then I'm going to push up on the corners. When I'm pushing up in the corners, I want to make sure that I can visibly see the edges of my front teeth biting into this piece. I'm also going to be on the back side uh, pushing my tongue kind of up against my teeth. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like right now. So I'm going to be taking that out. It's pretty soft right now. I'm going to be lining, up, lining it up. Center the material onto the teeth equally on both sides and front and back overlapping. Bite very firmly into a natural bite. At the same time push the corners up but make sure that you can see the front edges of those front teeth. You should be able to see them embedded but still see that they are in those grooves. Then you can check with the floss on the right side making sure it's taut just like it was prior. Same thing then I'm checking the left side just to make sure that the same thing is it's taut the same as it was when there is no piece in the mouth. So this is what it should look like when it's done. It's already firmed up. So that's how quickly it took to firm up. So a couple of things. You're going to see the imprints of your teeth and you want to make sure that you can see the edges of that when it's inserted onto your teeth. So those are the top. The bottom are smaller and that's where my bottom teeth go, right? And then when I had it in your mouth, when, my, when I had it in my mouth and I bit firmly on the floss, I was able to have some taunt and it was very similar to what it was when I don't have this. That means the bite back teeth are coming down together as they are normally. And that's really what you want to try to maintain. So when I place this in my mouth at that point, I'm going to just be inserting those top into the top grooves and then the bottom will go back into place. If you have any problems removing the device after you've just made it, just go ahead and put some warm water in your mouth and it will easily soften up and you can start the process over. If you happen to have a lot of spacing in between your teeth, you might need to um, push the device on and off while it's setting up in your mouth a little bit just so it, the indentations can give in a little bit to the spacing. 
All right, so earlier I made one that was made incorrectly, and that is usually done if either the water is not warm enough um, or you don't have enough pressure um, biting together naturally. You really want it to be coming down together when you put that piece in. So this one was done, and this is what it's going to look like. Um, everything lines up well. So when I had it in, the floss went right out, which is very different than what it is naturally when I have nothing in. Um, so um, if that happens to you, which is really common, even in the office, um, what you do is just put it back in the water. It actually reforms very nicely back to the beginning, and you'll kind of start fresh again. Make sure you reheat the water, most likely. Start over again until you get it as close as possible as to your bite is before anything's in your mouth, basically. Well, I hope you found that um, demonstration video helpful on how to make a morning reprogramming device. Um, if you have any problems making that, any other issues, please contact your sleep apnea dentist that's been helping you through your oral appliance therapy process. Um, how often to wear it. I strongly encourage my patients, especially early on, to use it every morning. Just wait about 10 or 15 minutes after removing the device before you put that device in because you could, it might be too much of a change to go from keeping your jaw forward all night long to then trying to revert things back. So wait about 10 or 15 minutes before you place that into your mouth. If it ever hurts too much, then don't do that or wait even longer. Um, how often to keep it in your mouth? It could be anywhere from just a couple minutes to 10, 15, 20 minutes. Some people will use it almost as a ramp, as kind of slowly to kind of encourage your jaw to readjust back into position to, to kind of move things back. How to clean the device, um, you can use a mild detergent or a toothpaste. Uh, definitely always use just cool water. Do not do not place it in warm water again, otherwise you will lose that initial starting point of your device, uh, of your teeth and kind of your occlusion. So um, cleaning it, keep it away from dogs. Um, they also can chew on it. And um, that's about it. Hopefully this was a helpful video. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. And um, that's it until next time. Thank you so much.